I think a lot of sometimes it seems people uh, misunderstand the extended cancer with the hurt with a hurried forward cancer. Um, what I would like to point out in the extended cancer is that the extended cancer is really a lengthening of the strides upwards. So you really, when you take your corner and you take a diagonal on the extended cancer, you have the, you have to have the feeling that all the power comes from behind, from behind forward, and not that you have the feeling that the horse ducks onto his uh, shoulders and then just rushes through the diagonal. You really have to feel that the power really comes from the hind legs. It's it's exactly that, Morgan no hurry and uh, if the people you have seen video of morgan with her stallion you understand why she says that and you understand how she can get a nine for this exercise yeah he he has a very big stride on the extended cancer he he can lengthen the stride and that's uh, that's really what we are looking for yes well, maybe we will not see as, as good horses in the video Okay, but I have to say again, the, the videos came from Bernard and I think are very important. I'm going to ask everybody to pay close attention. There is no uh, sound, it's only the image that you will see. So focus up and pay attention to what we're going to see so that you can follow the comment afterwards. If you like, uh, maybe I can play them several times so that you all realize what we're, we're trying to show you here. So we're gonna go <coughs> first canter, okay, Bernard? <coughs> yes. Okay. It's not a Grand Prix level. Of course, the quality of video and you have a, a change in the middle is a junior test. Maybe we can see it again. Okay, yes, yeah. so for information of everybody, this is from the junior level test. So the judges have to judge the canter and then have to judge the flying change, the two separate marks for each one. So we'll see it again. Then maybe Bernard can comment about the quality of the canter and Morgan could comment about the quality of the flying change. Okay? Yes, and Morgan can also give a some tips to improve. The start is good and the horse is a little resisting and here you can see that he start to put the croup high and to lose both the rhythm and the self-carriage. That's why the change is not so good. You want me to play it again Morgan for you to comment? Yeah. Okay. So I like the beginning of the canter. It's nice and up and uphill, but you see in the turn that she loses her horse a bit on the outside shoulder. It's turning over the outside shoulder. So when it's arriving for the flying change, it's falling on the left side. So it's blocking a little, it, it doesn't do a short change on the left hind leg, but it has a bit its weight on the, uh, on the left, on the left front shoulder. So instead of pushing the, the, the flying change from behind towards the front, it's a little bit, it's jumping. Oh, sorry. I'm a little bit dyslexic. So when you, yes, it's turning, oh, it's it has to change to the left and it's falling a little bit on its left shoulder. So it doesn't have the freedom in the left shoulder to jump upwards. So it falls down on the left and there comes the crew pie. So when I would do, uh, this flying change, I would make sure to really turn on my outside rein and just before my flying change, transfer my weight back onto my new outside rein, which would be my right, uh, right rein and in front of my left uh, leg so that it can have, I can have a nice upward flying change. Okay. Good. Okay. I, I think, I think this was very interesting. Uh, and if I can say one word on the basics, it's typical of the junior test where the trainer cannot insist on having them light on the inside and using the inside leg to go to the horse on the outside rein. And because he's little resisting on the inside, uh, that's also the reason why 
the advice of Morgan is just perfect if, if she had to help such a rider. Okay, good. So there we saw it again. And now we go to the next video. Okay, comments. Because uh, on this video, if you play it again, you can see the rider when she turns uh, to the right that the left rein is loose. She loses the left rein. So you can see again that she's turning on her inside rein instead of turning with her outside rein in front of her inside leg. Okay, I'll play it again. You can clearly see it just before she takes the turn. You can see the the left one losing and the horse up, just falling. You see, just there. You can see up the left uh, left rein falling yeah. forward, and you see a little bit the same problem as the other rider, uh, and with a horse that already has tendon. Um, the body type of the horse is already with the croup a little bit naturally higher. So on these type of horses, I I also have one like that. I, I really try to focus on really keeping him as much as possible sitting, uh, really that he takes all the weight onto his hind legs to, to get a little bit lighter and have the neck tendency a little bit higher. So really on a lighter rein and all the weight as much as possible onto the hind legs. Okay, and Bernard? Yes, when, when you see the horse starting, you say, oh, very elegant horse. But then quite soon you say, oh my God, it's lacking of impulsion, lacking of appeal tendency. The canter looks flat. And of course the change is laid behind. That all the reason Morgan tell very clearly why. It's a question that of basics that we see very often on this level. And it's uh, maybe it could be a good horse, but it has to change some basic way to have the horse from behind and uphill. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next one. No, the next one. Sorry, that was my mistake. <laughs> now we go to the next one. That is the same level, but the canter with two changes. Yes, the two short diagonals. And here you can see a nice horse with a nice uphill tendency. Uh, and you can see it's, compared to the other ones, it's more forward. I would like to see it a little bit more in front of the vertical. It's a tiny little bit, for my taste, behind, a little bit towards, but it's stable and it's pushing from behind towards the front, which is better than the two other videos we saw. Okay, I'll play it again for Bernard. Yes, that is clear that here we have a good canter the horse resists a little bit but the changes are okay because he's a little bit resisting in the second change he's a little over the bit but anyway that is a good canter and a good work also the, with the video is not as clear as in natural and i fully agree with morgan one more time okay so we go to the next one sorry
Okay, comments? I start. <laughs> yes. For me, it's a horse who is doing the job, but he's clearly on the forehand. And he's uh, not uphill. You can see here the first change. So the, the weight is on the shoulders. The horse is just, he knows his job, but he's never engaged, never uphill. And it's a sort of canter. Of course, he do, it's a, like a clear round. It's no big mistake. It's, it's a, but it's not the seven, eight or nine that uh, the judges are always um, wanted, wanting to, to have. And if you, I think I agree, I totally agree. And you can clearly see also it's a horse that's not going through the back. It's a little bit um, like you don't see this round canter and the horse bringing the back up and pushing from behind. You can see him like getting a little bit away with the, the hind legs and making the back a little bit hollow. And uh, you have some signs like switching the tail. Of course, it has to be, it's not uh, always sure. And also the neck, not really round, who give all the detail to explain why, as Morgan says, horse is not using his back the right way. So you see, this is a clear example of, of different horses. Uh, ones that are going through the back, ones that are not, ones with expressive changes once not with expressive changes the changes here are clean but the quality of the canter is not exactly what we would like to see there is some some people saying through the chat that they're having problems with the quality of the video that must probably come from the quality of your internet connection at home uh, because i think the rest of us can see it uh, the videos quite well are you seeing the videos well uh, bernard and morgan I'm seeing the video is fine, yes. Okay. I, I agree. Maybe it's my connection is a little bit, uh, um, uh, how to say in English, un peu haché. Not really fluent. Okay. okay, so we'll go to the next one. Yes, and this for me was also a good example of another problem that a horse that is behind the bit, maybe also um, behind the, the, leg. the legs, and he knows a way to escape. You see he's turning on the forehand. This say, that's the same I see that uh, he's cantering downwards instead of cantering upwards. And, uh, and again, you can clearly see when she's asking the change that the new outside rein is loosening up and she's pulling a little bit too much on her new inside rein, which is blocking the new inside hind legs in the change. So you can see the horse resisting a bit and falling onto the shoulders. Okay. And of course, there's a problem with the change there. Yeah. Yeah, that will be too late. Take into consideration. 